Welcome to our show where we sit down with inspiring individuals to explore uh, their journeys, passions and motivations. Today we have the pleasure of speaking with Usama, a doctor from Saudi Arabia, who is also a creative documentary filmmaker and a passionate traveler. He is currently a string with me in Kulna and in future is going to quit his current job to pursue a simpler, more nomadic lifestyle. What initially drew you to the field of medicine? Uh, <laughs> it's not about medical field itself. It's just about culture and expectation of society who drove me, drove me to this specific field because when I finished my high school, I know what I really want. I want to be a writer, I want to be more free spirit, I want to do creative projects, I have my passion as a martial arts, I have different uh, interests. But the expectation of society, you have to be something big, you have to be smart, you have to study it, that options that we have, medicine, engineer, law school. So these options that that time that we're the currency of the success. And so I have to be something in front of my parents in the eyes of the, because they, are, they will be proud of their son. So I have no choice just to choose something to just protect my own dreams. So what I really did, I was afraid to face the society and face my parents to tell them, I want to be a writer. I want to be what I want really, but I keep this hidden in myself. So I study medicine just to make their quiet. I mean, just to shut them up. And secretly, I was follow my dreams. And how did you discover your passion for filmmaking and storytelling? Ah, uh, okay. Actually, I start before filmmaking. I start writing since when I was a kid. I love writing, but I first start like a journaling, uh, like diaries. I write uh, my daily uh, journaling, and then I discover my passion. After I read my first story, Harry Potter. If, so that time I imagined that one day I wish if I have a book in the shelves uh, that has my name because I believe that I have vivid imagination that I can I can write uh, write like these stories. So I wrote my first story, and what uh, I I expect that I would be something that oh I wrote a story, but the friends and family expectation they. They said, oh, focus on your study. So I didn't have support on this. So I didn't give up. Just I keep doing this secretly. And then I keep writing, writing, writing. But I didn't succeed like to have an income or things like this. So I decided to switch my passion into filmmaking, which I really like filmmaking because uh, it expresses my ideas better than writing. But I, I still like writing. I like I love writing the script of my movies or my documentary experiences have you had as a traveler that have had a significant impact in your perspective life okay perspective uh, on life. i have many stories but yeah um like mo most of them they share similar theme which is the happiness is not about having big house having money having cars have luxury because for example in amazon a village i stay with the local family and i saw their simple life and they are happy they don't have luxury they don't have uh, more stuff in their ha home home but i feel that i feel the happiness split in the house i realized that traveling is the best way to live my life and what challenges do you foresee in transitioning from a stable career uh, as a doctor to a full-time traveler. Probably you are not a full-time traveler this time, but no, you are no. going to be. I'm going to, I already decided. Do you have any challenges for this? Yeah, of course. Uh, the first challenge, of course, the money. Okay. How can I survive without money, without salary? But that time, I don't have money information about it. So the first step I did that to connect with the people with the same vision. That's why I enjoy couchsurfing because I met a lot of travelers live the same dream, the same life I want, and they 
teach me and I always learn from them like how to collect the money how the budget of this so now I have a plan after real information and I start build the expectation what I really want what I will challenge so the money now is no issue for me because it's a challenge in the first time I decide this because the the idea of quitting my job it was like four years not for now yeah. but the real decision it come now after I met the travelers who inspired me to follow their path because it's reality it's not a fantasy anymore we can't do it anyone can't do it if they are if really have a courage to take this decision what advice would you give to others who are considering uh, leaving their traditional careers to pursue more unconventional path listen to your inner voice and believe in yourself no matter what your personality the way of life you want to live nobody care after you die nobody will ask about you they will forget you so this is your life you live the way you want it don't care about people just stay focused on what you really want yeah in this year the plan is really simple i will keep working in this year i have a target uh, how many how money I will save. Like this year, it's about learning how to travel. Yeah. So that's why I connect with the travelers. I host people in my house. So I learn from them. It's a school now for me, school of traveling. Until I prepare myself physically, mentally, spiritually to, to live this life. So I'm well prepared. Yeah. Yes. Finally, what message or insight would you like to leave our audience with? And if you don't really enjoy what you are doing, you cannot live in back in your society. So I think now I finally uh, know my purpose. My purpose is really simple to motivate others because the, the, happy, the happiness moment I feel that fulfillment that when I see people inspired by, by content, which I really do now, I share stories of people around the world. People told me, Osama, I like to see your content. This is really uh, like, I feel so happy about this. This is what I want people to find their purpose, to find their message. Thank you, Osama, for sharing your insights and experiences with us. Your journey reminds us the importance of following our passions and embracing simplicity in our lives. We issue, wish you all the best uh, on your upcoming adventures as a full-time traveler and a documentary filmmaker. Thank you.